Hello all and welcome to our course Primavera P6, the latest editions that will cover uh, bridge constructions from A to Z. Last time we have created the activities and also created the WBS. Either you add it manually into P6 or you can import it from Excel. This is the simplified bridge constructions and this lecture is going to be about doing a relationship, it means what sequence of work. And normally you have constructability and you sit with the project manager, superintendents, and then you go through the sequence of work. For this easy case, normally you do excavation for abutment, do the column, the same for bent, excavation, do footing, do column, abutment two, the same, and then you do the recast beam, do the slab, handrail, do the embankment. It's very easy, okay? Before going to the details, let's define relationship in P6. You have four relationship, finish to start, start to start, start to finish, and finish to finish. And you have two terminology, predecessor and successor. Okay, successor happen after predecessor. So finish to start means what? Means successor activity will start after activity completed. Start to start means they are happening concurrently at the same time. Successor activity start is based on predecessor activity start. Start to finish means what? Means predecessor activity start is tied to the successor activity finish. Finish to finish means these two activities are tied and finished. Successor activity cannot finish unless the predecessor activity finish. Cannot finish concrete unless excavations is complete, for example. Okay, let's go to Excel and show what I did so you can follow me. So last lecture, we created the activity ID, we have the WBS, activity descriptions, and then I created here a predecessors column to show you guys a sequence of work. By the way, start work, this is the start, no predecessor, bridge completions, after you finish everything is tied here this id of clear sight is 540 and this here is the milestones so normally project manager or high level engineer don't have time to go through the schedule he can just look for the milestone and know uh, what is the duration of the project what is the start and what is the finish after that you have the procurement and excavation of abutment one i need this to start once i have the start work here is complete. If you are working by one crew, by the way, you finish excavation of abutment one, and then you go abutment two, and then you go bent one. Means one crew. But if you have multiple crews, multiple excavators, you can start at the same time. I did the same here also for foundations, abutment one. What I need here? I need to have the rebar. Okay. And I need also uh, uh, this one here. And I need uh, 180 and this one excavate. So after you do excavation, you can do the footing. After you do also excavation for abutment two, you need the rebars and you need this should be 140. And you need excavation to be complete. This is the same here. Okay. So let's go to P6 and then show you guys how to tie that. So here is the schedules. Okay. You have start work. Here's the milestones that give you a summary of the project. Okay. And his procurement, his uh, abutment, I just categorize by the way, each abutment footing and uh, excavation at the same place to make it easy for a relationship. So to tie activity, you can just press uh, on the activity and you will show here at the bottom, predecessor and successor, okay? So you just go and assign, okay? So start to work, after that what? After that, I need to start the procurement. And also, I need to start procurement beams. Okay? And you can see here the program make it to you finish to start, but you can change it to start to start or whatever is good for you. If I go now to procurement, I will see the predecessor is a start to work. If I would like now to go to start uh, also uh, precast beam, I will find the predecessor is a start to work. Successor is still empty. Okay. For excavation of abutment one, I need also to start work. So start work, I can go here, or I can 
highlight these two you can see guys uh, highlight this one and then control you are highlighting these two right click and then link activity okay so if you go right now here you will find this activity tied to work and you can change the, the relationship if you would like i know there's another advanced way to do this in excel i will show it to you guys but this is how to do that okay you finish excavation for abutment one i need to start footing i can highlight both of them right click and then tiling so you can see right now after i did the excavation for abutment one i have here to start the footing abutment two excavations if i have one machine so i will start with abutment one and then i will go to excavation abutment uh, two his link okay after i finish excavation for abutment two i can start to excavate abutment bin one okay once you do his excavations here you can start doing the footing so i will highlight these together once also we finish here excavations you can start doing the foundation it's very easy and you can see how i do it right now you can just go here and assign or you can highlight that it's very easy and you can continue guys uh, do this i can send you the excel okay construct abutment one happening after what so you finish the footing and then you can go here and do construct abutment one construct abutment two once you finish the, fo the foundation or the footing you can go and start this activity very easy construct the bend once you finish the bend you can go here and finalize this okay so this is very easy i will continue to do that you can continue to do this in your own guys so you can to save your time and then we can continue the next lecture for critical path i hope you like this lecture thanks so much guys and see you.